Right now it's 7 51 and i'm just about to go for a walk i wanted to just get a walk in early i love the temperature right now at this time because the air is so crisp and it's nice to just get some movement in when you wake up i got up at six today did my little morning routine and i just made a coffee one of my like toxic traits is that i always want to bring a coffee in the car with me and i just usually use one of my glasses so I should probably start using some more like, um, what are they called? Like portable cups or whatever, but these fit so nicely in my cup holder. I have been really liking this oat pumpkin spice creamer. This is the Elmhurst brand. And I bought this at World Market, which is kind of random, but you could just Google it and see where it is near you. That's just the closest place that I could find. I am not gonna be working out this morning because I've been really wanting to do a mic'd up legs for you guys because you requested that after I did the mic'd up back and biceps. And it works for Brandon and my brother to film it with me later this evening. So we're just gonna do a walk and then I'll actually train and do my workout later. We're gonna just go get our walk in, listen to a motivating podcast, and then I'm gonna come home and get ready. And then I think my brother is gonna be here later this after afternoon around noon to like go get coffee with me. For breakfast today, I'm gonna make pancakes and I'm gonna do them how I did the waffles. I used one of the mush oats. Today, I'm gonna do the snickerdoodle. And then you just need to add an egg, a little bit of baking soda, almond flour, and then I have this coconut oil spray. I love finding ways to make things that I really like still healthy and also simple too. This is just a couple of ingredients and it's so fast. Pancakes and waffles are definitely one of my favorite foods. I'm also gonna make some turkey bacon. Protein is just so essential. So I eat it in every single meal that I have. These pancakes turned out perfect, you guys. I added some banana, cinnamon, and maple syrup, and they just look so good. I just finished up some work, and I got the kitchen all clean after breakfast. But I wanted to open this package that I got from Hollister with you guys. I ordered some sweaters because I've been wanting some new ones for the fall and the winter. And Hollister actually has a lot of really cute options. I'm so happy that it's getting colder and I can actually wear this stuff. So this is the first one, which I love so much. Just a quarter zip. I really like the color. It's actually like super thick and good quality. This one right here, it's more like a sweater shirt. It's a long sleeve and it has flare sleeves on it. 
I got everything. Oh, well, this one isn't an extra small, but I'm pretty sure all the ones that are bigger I got in a small so they could be a little bit more oversized. This is so soft. Oh my gosh. I love the feel of this one. Next up is this like striped one. I forgot that I ordered this one actually. This one is so good. And then we have one last one. Super cute. I have been so into cardigans lately. I feel like I put them on all the time. Even when I'm at home, sometimes I'll just be wearing like sweats and a tank and I'll just like want to throw a cardigan on. So I've been living in these and I like the sleeves on it, the buttons. Okay, we're gonna try all of them on. Also, I have the Skims bralette on right now. This is just the chocolate brown one and this is the v-neck style. I wear these like every single day under all of my clothes. I wear the nude one a lot because you obviously can't see that one through white and I'll have it linked in my description box. I am obsessed with these. They are the best and I wear the matching underwear too. I always love when I have like a set on even if people can't see it. it just makes me feel good and more confident. But we gotta see how the size looks. Wow, I love this one. Oh my gosh. And I actually am so happy that I got a small because, I mean, I, could, I still could have done an extra small, but I just don't like it when they're too tight because I think it looks good when it's like a little bit bigger. I don't really like the way that this looks on me. This is just like not very proportionate i don't know <laughs> Ooh, i definitely love this one this is such a good neutral color i feel like i don't love this one that much because the sides like i don't know they sit kind of weird it's not my favorite so i might bring this one back oh i didn't realize but i also got the cardigan in an extra small but i think it's because the style of this just like is supposed to be a little bit smaller yeah this one is really cute i have been dying to wear my platform ugg boots it's hella weekend we're like late into october so i feel like it's actually acceptable i was waiting because i don't want to wear fall things too early i hate when people just like jump the gun and they're doing it all in the summer i'm like uh it's a little early for that so i feel like i can break these out and they look cute so we're gonna do that and i need to put on some gold jewelry Yours went so much smoother than mine. I know. <laughs> Why? Because, I don't know. I got a latte with almond milk. Cheers. <laughs> I'm holding like 17 things. Oh, mine's good. Okay, now we're gonna go to Lids and I'm gonna get this custom hat made, so stay tuned because it's about to look sick. We're just about to leave at downtown Summerlin, but I wanna show you what I got. No, I'm gonna show them what I got. <laughs> I had some pants from Lululemon that I wanted to get hemmed. They're these flare leggings. They're the Groove Super High Rise. So I got them hemmed and I had to pick them up today. So I got these and I'm so excited to wear them. I feel like they're so good for the fall and the winter. They're just gonna look super cute, especially with my Uggs. And then to go with it, I got a jacket because I wanted to have like a matching set. I love anything that's matching, that's like multiple pieces. So I got the jacket. This is the Define Cropped Jacket. And this is one of their newer styles. They've had it for a little while now, but I like the fact that it's not as long as the other one. And I got this in a four. So it's gonna be a really good outfit. I got slim, straight cargo pull-ons. These are nice. In brown. Perfect for the fall. And I got my hat done with my logo and my other logo. And now I'm waiting for a revision on 
this so I could put the last logo on the back. It's 3.30 right now and we're gonna head back to my apartment and we're going to the gym. We're gonna meet Brandon. Well, what time are you working out? Four. We gotta get going. <laughs> I'm putting a quick lunch together for Jake and I. He's gonna have some of this chili with fall leaf tortilla chips and then I really wanted to have some of this garden vegetable soup. I also have chicken and ground turkey cooked, so we're gonna have that for protein, but for some soup and just kind of like fun fall foods, these are what I bought at Trader Joe's. I've been getting a little bit of work done. I need to change and head over to the gym here pretty soon, and honestly, you guys, I am fading. Brandon always laughs when I say that, but I just mean that like my energy is really going low. I feel tired, and if it was up to me, I would probably not wanna go to the gym, anymore i've realized that for myself morning workouts are the way to go if i wait too long and go or plan to go later in the day i have a higher chance of skipping it so i think that you have to really evaluate your own schedule and your life and what works best for you and if you know that the evening is not a good time for you to work out then you should always prioritize it first thing or vice versa the fact that i have them at the gym is like the only thing that's getting me there right now and so i'm super thankful that they're there but i am definitely a little bit tired so i need to do something to boost me up but i am excited to film the workout for you guys and to show you i'm also just so happy that i have my brother and brandon because they're at the gym right now doing their leg workout and then I'm going to meet them when it's over. But I think that the gym really can bring people together and it's so fun when you have people in your life that you can go to the gym with or talk about workouts with. And so having people, I think for that is so amazing. It's super helpful. It helps keep you accountable and it also is just like something that you can all do together that's obviously good for your health. I really really would just suggest getting some workout buddies. Anyways, I need to get my workout set on. I need to get to the gym, push through. I know I can do this. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna have a good time when I'm there. I actually really enjoy working out. Like I think it's fun. And that's also key with workouts and having a good workout routine is finding workouts that you love to do. Okay, so I'm doing legs today and we're starting with deadlifts. I usually do five sets of uh, like 12. <laughs> Five. Four. Minute saw, minute saw. <laughs> Is it 13? Oh, I don't know. I kind of lost count at the end. It's 13. You going up? It's Jake on the mic. All right, Brandon, 32, 31. That's a thousand. 30. Practicing my clutch pedal right now. <laughs> That's the market clutch pedal. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well, we're doing quad extensions, and I'm doing three sets of 12. 10, 11, done. Holy <laughs> Jesus. Beast mode. <laughs> For this set, he's making me do a hundred. A little pounds. heavier. Ready? Hold yeah. those handles, keep your hips on, let's go. Come on. Good. Press, good. Before you started your set, you said he, who's he? You, my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> We're doing glute hip thrust. Five sets of 12. Heavy. A heavy. -ish. We're gonna add to this. Heavy ish. This the first this is set. her starting weight. I always put this on my waist because it hurts my hips. A little cushion because Haley's so freaking shredded. <laughs> I wish. I have to keep my back flat. Abs tight. See, let's go. The chin down the whole time. Five. Three. Two. That's good. We're starting with like what? Oh my god, I can't speak. We're starting with leg, leg press. press, three sets of 10 feet high and wide. <sighs> oh, 
I get a lot of questions about why I use this. <laughs> and you know it's what? because this helps me get full range of motion so I sit higher up. And then I'm actually able to go like all the way deep. Tell them why you need to use that. Because I'm short. Uh, <laughs> knees out. Okay, weights on the heels, right? Heels yeah. on the outside of the foot. Drive. Five. Four. One more. One more. Done. <sighs> okay, so she did three sets high and wide feet. And now we're going to bring Haley's feet down close so they're like and a little bit lower on the platform and the weight's gonna be under her big toes, right? Yeah. Putting more pressure on the quads. So instead of driving off the heel, which is gonna activate more glutes hamstrings, it's gonna lower the feet closer together, more pressure on this outer quad right here. Check it out. We're doing two sets of 20. Two sets of 20? Yeah. Just a little polisher, you know what I'm saying? 18, 19, one, two, oh. work. Oh. So we're supposed to do lying hamstring curls, but since that's taken, we're gonna do a single leg hamstring curl, which allows more isolation. Sometimes I have to do this when the gym is busy. Yeah. I like this But it's fine. Yeah, I love this machine too. Yeah, this is a good one. I did this on Monday, so it's like... A little sore? Yeah. I know. Let's go. Don't twist those hips. Just drive it's with the hamstring. so sore. It's hey, you so better focus, bad. girl. Let's go. Wait, why is this side better? This side is so much better. Easy. Same weight? Yeah. Three. Two. That's good. Wow, the right side goes off. Go off, right side. <laughs> Last thing I finish leg workouts with is lunges. I either do body weight lunges or I do I just uh, dumbbell lunges. <laughs> Are you going to do it with me? Peace up, Aton down, it's Beefly in the house. Baby, hey, we heading out. We're gonna go catch a nap. <laughs> oh, hey, settle down, how you doing? See y'all in the morning. downstairs and now I'm gonna go for a walk with Brooke I want to wear my new jacket I have my flare leggings on and they're so cute but I'm excited to go for a walk I'm gonna meet her at her house at 9 15 and it's like around 9 right now so I need to get going but I've had a good morning already and I'm just feeling so good I am so happy because today is Friday and I just am excited for this weekend. Today's a little bit of a busy day, just finishing up work stuff. I have a meeting at 12 and then tonight Brandon, my brother, and a couple of our friends are going to a comedy show. I don't know what time we're going to go yet, but it will be fun to do that. I've seen people wearing headbands more and they just look so cute. I feel like it adds something to your outfit. Hopefully they look good on me. I'm kind of thinking I should just go for a black one. Or I could also do white because I have my white Nikes on. I can't tell if this looks cute on me or not. But 
I kind of like it. I'll show you the full outfit. I need to cut this tag off. I'm just gonna put everything in here to walk. And then my Prada sunnies. So this is the walking outfit today. I think it's so fun. I love it. I love the flare leggings. It's such a beautiful morning, you guys. It's like 65 degrees out. The sun is out. I'm gonna make a little breakfast bowl with some stuff that I have in the fridge. I have two eggs left, bell pepper, onion, and spinach. And then I'm also gonna do one of these chicken sausages. I bought these at Costco and there's 13 grams of protein in each. Breakfast turned out so good. Sauteed all the veggies. I have my chicken sausage, toast, and then a couple of eggs. I just got my whole apartment clean and it is so nice to have everything just put away, wiped down. There's literally no better feeling than a clean space. So I have some candles going right now just to make it smell good. I need to start getting ready for dinner in a little bit because we're going out to eat tonight and I didn't shower and get ready after my workout today because I knew that we had this later and I just want to have like my makeup fresh and put on an outfit for that. So I figured I would just wear this all day. But I ordered a couple pairs of ballet flats and I got both of them in the mail. So I wanted to try them on and see which pair I like better. One of them is from Nordstrom and then this other pair is from Dolce Vita. So I figured I could open these and see which pair I like. And then obviously the one that I don't, I will send back because I don't need two black pairs of ballet flats. But I think they're so cute right now. I feel like ballet flats just elevate your outfit so much. And they're also comfortable. Heels end up hurting my feet a lot. Ballet flats, you can just dress up and still wear out and about. So this first pair that I got has a little bow and they're more of a square toe. I know that so many people have mixed feelings about ballet flats and some people say that they can't pull them off, but honestly, I think that if you're confident, you can pull off anything. You just gotta own it, and if you like it, then who cares? <laughs> but this is the second pair, and these ones are a little bit more like rounded, and they don't have like a heel at the bottom. This one has like a little bit of a heel, so I wanna see if they fit me. Sometimes ballet flats, like run big so i want to see if these even work i tried on both pairs and this one from jeffrey campbell is actually really comfortable but i love the way that this one looks with the bow i think i'm gonna 
go for this one also if i want to have two i'd rather just get this pair in another color because they have white and tan this one i don't like the other colors in so i could just get black in this pair and then another color in this pair i'm just about to start doing my makeup and i guess tonight we're going to carbone brandon has a connection there and he was able to get a reservation for tonight which is kind of fun so i need to find an outfit that i can wear both to the restaurant and then also the comedy show but i need to get ready kind of quickly because it's at six the reservation which is a little bit earlier than i was thinking But tonight I'm going with this top that I got from Aritzia and I think it's so cute. It has this detail on the sides and then I put on my black Levi's jeans because we're going a little bit more casual and then my ballet flats which uh, I love. They look so good with jeans on. So I'm all ready and I'm heading out but I'm really excited. It's going to be such a fun night. It'll be good to have some food and just like hang out with people that I love. family can come they will go too so it's just gonna be like all of us doing a big pumpkin carving i can't wait to go and just hang out with everyone so we obviously need to pick our pumpkins we got the garbage bags all out some stuff some screaming kids <laughs> i'm carving a spooky pumpkin what's gonna be on it How many seeds are you if you have to guess? <laughs> How many? 1600? That's what Whoa. I was gonna say. Oh, he's killing it. Whoa, you got yours open? I scooped my scoop my now. <laughs> Right now, 
it's 6 3 and I've had a pretty busy day today I got up early went to the gym and I pretty much have just been in front of my computer having an editing day and I feel really good about it but now I want to make dinner and I thought that we could do a fall dinner tonight and just kind of like a cozy evening I got some ingredients for a recipe that I've been really wanting to make and I also got this candle it's a little apple dumpling and I wanted to light it. My Veluspa candle right here is completely out so I need to throw that away. And I figured since it's fall it would be the perfect time to light this. It actually smells super strong. I bet this is going to make my apartment smell so good. So first light. How fun is this? Literally so adorable. So we're gonna have that going. I needed a few things for my dinner tonight and these got delivered over the weekend. I ordered some lingonberry sauce and if you guys don't know I'm 100% Norwegian and we used to eat lingonberries growing up with like meatballs so much for dinner and I really wanted it tonight with potatoes so I'm gonna make this with meatballs and mashed potatoes these are the meatballs that I bought this is like a huge pack there's 60 meatballs in here but they're chicken with cranberry and jalapeno they're gluten free and it says there's no nitrates added no antibiotics so i'm really excited to try these and they're pretty simple to make because they're already cooked you just bake them in the oven so i need to preheat it to 325 and then i bake for like 15 to 20 minutes i bought a big bag of yukon gold potatoes so while the oven is preheating, I'm going to wash these and start boiling them. You just want to cook them until tender. So we'll do a few potatoes. This has Sandra Bullock in it, and I love her, so we're gonna give this a try. It's 9.03 right now, and I'm just making myself some tea before I go to bed. I'm gonna do this Puka Vanilla Chai Tea. I'm really tired, so I need to go to sleep but i wanted to say good night to you guys and close out the vlog i hope you enjoyed spending a couple of days with me and i just want you guys to know that i'm so grateful for each and every single one of you and i always appreciate you guys watching my vlogs so i love you all and i will see you in the next video bye